This program is about social media scammers. In most cases, the photos shown are not of the scammers, but are stolen from other social media accounts and are not the individuals responsible for the scams. A social media scammer is using Florence Flores' photo to scam women from the Nepali community. He tells them his mother is from Nepal, father is from Philippines, both died in car accident. His wife died with cancer three years ago. His son is in a boarding school in the United Kingdom. Right now in the United States, he does not have any relatives and friends, and he is deployed in Syria. He also tells them that he's going to get off a couple of days and he wants to see his son. But since he cannot access his bank account, he has no money. And guess what? Nepali women who are genuinely very friendly, committed to the friends, they send him money. The scammer establishes a romantic relationship with the Nepali women, or if somebody is married and has family, then he establishes a relationship of sister or friend. His biggest scam is a favor to receive a package with important documents. So by nature, Nepali women who are very committed with the friends or romantic relationship, they agree. He asked them their addresses, phone numbers, copy of passport, maybe social security, you name it. Whatever he can get the information, he gets from them. And women give him by trusting. He tells them packages on the way, couple of days, a agent supposed to be package delivery agent. He calls the women and he tells them, since it is an important document to release from the airport, you have to pay 4,000 euro or 4,000 US dollar, the amount varies. Agent will call them again. Instead of delivering the package, he tells them the package has to be sealed before delivery. You need to pay another 4,000 or 5,000 euro or dollar. If women deny to pay for it, he will threaten them with the police and imprisonment. If legal threat doesn't work, the agent will tell them, I know your address, where you live, how many family members, and he gives them death threat. The scammer already scammed many Nepali women from around the world, Japan, Dubai, France, United Kingdom, Belgium, Portugal, Canada, United States. There are many more countries. The scammer who is using this photo is active in many social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, there are many more. If he's in your friend list, please report him and block him before he steals your life saving, before he puts you in an emotional depression. Do not help him to create social media accounts. Do not help him with the WhatsApp accounts. Do not help him with the bank accounts. Whatever favor he asks you, say no. No matter what, how much you feel sorry for him, it's not true. Do not give him your address. Do not give him your phone number. Do not give him social security number. Do not give him a copy of passport. Uh, residency card, green card, do not give him. If you give him, he is going to use to scam you, to steal, steal your money, or he is going to scam somebody else using your identity. No matter what, 
how sad his sto story he will tell you. How bad you feel for him. Everything he tells you is not true. If you feel you have given your all information, please let your bank know about it and monitor your credit if a new credit card shows up. Do not believe the short video calls with a scammer. It may not be real because there are some apps which are deceitful. This is my request. Save yourself from this social media scammer. This is Iksa Limbu, known as Didi Hazur.